My low is grown a heart. Look at you. It is like a perfect heart shape, isn't it? I've just finished my first cup of coffee today and it's lunchtime. Yes, I stayed up again late this morning, potting up. And these are the ones that I've been growing under my grow light. So, mini bell, you're all nicely potted up cutie cutie ones uh, so this ones came from this one here I will be doing a video on how to propagate this and also separate the uh, the this really expensive one here <laughs> well they all are so I'm going to separate the babies from the mummies so I'll be doing that video today so I'm just giving you a preview of what I'm doing today and this one is Compressicalis. This is such a beautiful plant. That is the natural color of that plant. So it's not because of the grow light, although it's been grown under the grow light. It is a beautiful red, shiny, easy to grow plant. So that one, so they're actually more of a shrubby type and they don't grow very big, they're only small. But you can see sort of a greening of the soil because uh, being grown under the grow light that's what happens but they need to be transplanted because they're hitting each other now and this one this is my crested leasel and my budgie just flew past me again and they need to be transplanted as well so this one came from one leaf this is a west rainbow it came from one leaf but now it's got three, two, and one. But they're mostly on my master succulent soil mix and topped with cocoa peat. That's what they're growing in. And this just a sedum, Jamaican sunset. These babies are really like almost a year old from the time I plucked them. So I plucked them last summer, late summer. So probably about February is when I pulled them off from their mother plant and these are now all babies so every single one of them is a baby but it took so long to grow or germinate so because the leaves itself have become like seeds isn't it so this couple of Pachypytum bracteosum as well I pulled out the bigger plants and left the smaller ones there so I still need to repot that so so far that's all I've got and I'm gonna go to my grow light because outside it's not very good to do videoing in it baby pee and we should really have another coffee now on my grow light area here I've got lots of things happening I still have my ribbon that's a new one ready I'm going to show you, well, I was meant to do, I was meant to do a lot of things, but what can I do? I only got one body. <laughs> I can't do everything at once. So anyway, uh, this one needs, this is Graptopitalum uh, fructicosum. They need to be chopped off and you can see all the roots are coming out of it saying I need to be put in soil proper soil although it's a proper soil being grown out here it can't really spread out so that's what it does so it becomes stemmy and although they are sort of a shrubby type uh, succulent this one they become a uh, long stem and the roots the aerial roots comes out because they're trying to reach out for soil and uh, so they need to be chopped off and transplanted my Echeveria gold money eye so this is quite a rare plant I haven't seen anything for sale or ever seen anyone selling this but this one I got from a very special lady I got this one from Jocelyn Ainsworth I don't know if she's still got another plant but she gave me the whole plant because I went there uh, and bought some plants and I have my list and she was going through the list and finally uh, she got this one gold money I tucked in the corner and so she just pulled it up and uh, broke off a stem and after she broke off a stem which is that one there 
she just decided to give me the whole plant so the rest of the plant so I got the whole plant so I don't know if she still got some stash uh, in her other greenhouse but anyway this one is Peperomia turtleback what are you it's not graviolins <laughs> Prostrata, there you go. Peperomia prostrata. This is a tortured one. When it was still cold, I bought this uh, from IKEA and I got this already about four months ago. Three months ago, I would say. And I, it was still cold in springtime and I thought I'll just do a test. I've taken it outside in a shaded area and we had uh, instances wherein we had four degrees at night Celsius and didn't like it so it suffered a bit it rotted and also well there was no direct sunlight on it but still they are not meant to be grown outside well in my experience anyway after torturing that after seeing the results so same plant because I bought a few of them to do some testing okay so this is the same plant bought at the same time there you go so this one on the left did not go through torture <laughs> i like that word and then the other one i was tortured <laughs> google's gonna flag this video again because of that word so anyway uh torturing plants there you go so the metadata would pick it up and say torture okay we better put a stop on this video we don't want any torturing going on okay so now this one just lives here and well, well, well I know okay Pedro's talking as well I did have a video from my other channel this create before of how to grow look hello say hello you want to say hello to the camera because you want to talk there you go he wants to talk as well okay so I did have a video of a uh, peperomia prostrata or turtle back or uh, turtle shell whatever you call turtle uh, peperomia plant look how beautiful that one is there so this is still my mother plant I forgot to water it because it was on the other area in my family room and I forgot to water it so it all dried up but then now new ones are growing again so how they crawl so they like moisture so this pot doesn't have any hole, okay? So they like a bit of moisture. Pedro, look at him. See, now he's on my hand, hey? Hey? Do you want to have some peperomia as well? Okay, now he wants to eat my plants. Now, this one is already a baby from that mother plant. Every time I touch a plant, he goes and bites it. You're going to get sick again? Okay. So this one is uh, a baby grown from the mummy and I have another baby upstairs so I do put them in different places just to see how they will grow under different condition and they're happy to be in the shade indoors uh, you can have bright light but no direct sunlight and they like a bit of water so this one gets watered almost every day and I put it in my master soil mix with extra cocoa peat so that's the soil that is in so anyway update update on our uh, babies here so the bernalensi graptopetalum bernalensi crested ones are growing nicely so a lot of them are still crested so you can that one hang on i'll just move my little claw thing it's getting in the way and that one as well look how beautiful they got beautiful it has maintained or kept its cresting so i thought they're gonna grow out of it uh some do or did hang on oh that one is all like you see the lines is twisted this one i don't know if you can see that so those red uh it's like a candy cane on the stem and okay i just saw something this is one of the issues of growing indoors you get lots of aphids and I have a few millibug, well at least more than what I get being grown outside. So inside here is like a petri dish for insects and pests, gnats. So I got lots of gnats here and I have hardly see any gnats outside anymore. But this one's out in here. Uh, I've got a lot of gnats and also, hang on, I just saw this... Uh, what are you? Mendoza, Graptopetalum, 
Mendoza variegata variegated and just a few leaves I've taken off from my mother plant and this one oh hang on I'm gonna show you this one this is the most beautiful um, well put it this way it is high maintenance because it's got a lot of arena and look how cute it is oh this is not a Lowy. this is a Lowy cross lilacina or lilacina and these are just all babies now so those two have formed cluster look at that it's so cute and they are much hardier than the lawi so which is what i like about them and they're bigger and fatter the one i got before the mother plant when i got it it's a bit like uh, stemmy or the leaves were sort of stretched out and open like that but then they do form a big ball when grown hard when you torture them <laughs> when I torture them so anyway so this year I decided to get as much leaves as I can from my mother plant and therefore I've got one two three four and five there's more growing here and this one I already pulled off the baby which is um, one of these or actually it's outside I've already potted it up and it's grown outside so I'm just gonna show you the mommy plant and when I do grow outside I'm not gonna be talking oh by the way yeah my there you go what is that one West Rainbow I've already chopped it off from the other one and there's more West Rainbow leaves they're growing and at this time of the year, the leaves actually grow really fast. I'm going to show you the ones that's been plucked only uh, two weeks ago. And they already got little pimples on them. Now, these two now are, I don't know whether they have roots now, but they are now grown in this pot permanently. That's going to be their permanent home for about a year until they grow up again and I chop their heads off again. So... Okay, I'll just show you the little baby one and the mundas or the big mundas outside. So these are the West Rainbow that I plucked two weeks ago. And look at them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six leaves. And you got one bump or one pimple, two pimples, so three pimple. And that one is just a root. And hang on, this one, I think I've got this one. Oh, the other way. Oh, that one's got a root as well, but it's supposed to be turned up the other way or else the baby can't grow. There you go. So something like that. There you go. Uh, now that one, hang on. Yes, are you arching backwards as well? No, that was the right way. Okay, so now let's go outside and look at the mundas. I haven't actually checked it for a while. That gorgeousness on the left is a lawi that I've head chop and this one on the right is my mundas let's go take it out you have seen this if you're following my vlogs you have seen this from my other videos okay let's just go do it here now this one is look chopping the head off has produced one two three four and there's still a couple small ones inside there, okay? Four, five, six, seven. So it is a very prolific grower. It means it grows lots and lots of babies. So that's why if you are growing or propagating to sell, like a lot of people do, <laughs> um, this <laughs> is a good plant to have because they propagate really fast. They grow no fast, no, not as fussy as the Lawi. But see this one, uh, you can see some leaves drying up there and it needs water. So this one, so I don't even want to touch it. So this is the only bad thing about these pretty or diva plants. I call them diva plants because the slightest touch. So that one I've already touched. And the farina does come back. They do come back. But it takes a long time. So that's why by the time they come back or 
cover themselves up, especially if you grow them in the shade, like I do here. It's not really direct sunlight. They're not getting any direct sunlight. When this one used to grow in direct sunlight before, it uh, replaces the farina much faster than when it's grown in the shade. So I'm going to put this one back. And that's our vloggy, vloggy thingy for today. Uh, and I'm going to go have another cup of coffee. And my lawi, oh, it's got some aphids again. So this is just flour. So we remove that. We remove that. I only had one lawi that produce a pop from the leaf. So, so far not successful, but that's because I don't really pull off the leaves. Most of the leaves I've taken from the bottom are already old. So, this is my skinny lawi. This is my other uh, lawi, which needs to be removed as well, those um, stems. Okay, we're not after your seeds anymore. So, we're going to remove them. Okay, okay. Now this one, I'm going to put this away. Mami Lawi has got lots of, see the leaves, see what I mean? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> but anyway, see another um, leaves, but I just let them grow a little bit so I can pull them off. And then that one has already gone terminal. So we take that off and Mami needs water. Or do you need a haircut as well? That one's been exposed or used to be exposed to the element. It's sort of semi-shaded from top uh, covering, but it gets rained on, it gets water on, watered on, and that's why on the left, that's been watered, the mummy plant, and that one is already a baby plant and it's grown a heart. Lawi with a heart, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, Lawi, hello. My Lowy's grown a heart. Look at you. It is like a perfect heart shape, isn't it? And the other one in the bottom, that's obviously been hit by a mealybug or something, and that's why it happens like that. 